All right, here is my hydroponic setup. I basically have uh, two different types of hydroponics. Um, I got an NFT uh, filament uh, technique running in these uh, five by five by eight foot vinyl posts. Uh, and then over on the other system, you'll see uh, I've got the Dutch bucket set up uh, going as well that are basically filled with all perlite. So I just wanted to show you, I got this system running about two weeks ago. Uh, it's two levels. Up on top are peppers and spinach, uh, mainly because of the height. And then down below is lettuce and uh, a little cilantro and strawberries. Uh, so anyways, the, uh, the system has got uh, basically the nutrient fluid filling in, uh, coming in through the bottom there. Comes in through the uh, quarter inch hose, runs across through the system. Uh, I can set the levels, but you basically see it in there. Uh, the levels is uh, going to be based on these uh, uh, little tubes here. Um, on one side, I have the height set really high with these holes, and then um, on this side, I can flip it over, it'll be a little lower. And then if I remove it all together, it runs off of a uh, electrical conduit half inch uh, that's screwed into the bottom of that and then basically it exits out gravity fed slight slope on the tubes come through and fills in and comes into my reservoir which I got a 550 uh, horsepower pump or gallons per minute pump in there um, Dutch bucket set up uh, mainly for tomatoes peas and uh, and beans is doing awesome. We already got some tomatoes popping uh, for what two weeks there, and uh, that's basically two weeks growth right there. Um, basically, it's a perlite system with uh, a net for the bucket, the interior, so that the perlite doesn't wash out. And uh, down there is a three quarter inch grommet that basically has a half inch conduit and two elbows looks like the same on the other side so that it actually holds up a reservoir worth of water to about a three inch mark and then automatically drains off into the pipe and then returns right on down same thing gravity fed towards the end on the system um, if you're wondering about the pitch how, how big it is you're basically looking at for eight feet it's a uh, one inch rise on one side from level. So anyways, uh, my five gallon bucket, Dutch bucket system. And then I've got the, uh, uh, the rail system for the NFT. You'll notice on the manifold here, uh, this is the height that I come up to. Uh, essentially is right at about six feet. And then I have uh, my valves working right there so I can adjust the flow. Uh, for which way it's going on each system or I can shut one whole side down if I need to work on it or clean it or do anything like that mainly in when I'm working on the hoses or if I want to reposition a plant or something like that I just go ahead and turn off the system on one side and send it to the other I used a flexible garden hose uh, mainly so that I could um, uh, open this up and close it uh, back and forth and it worked out pretty good uh, having the ability for it to flex. Um, I usually just take off this mat, this uh, uh, drop piece right there, right at the elbow, and disconnect it right here as well. And then I could basically lift the, the lid off this system and uh, get to my nutrients. Anyways, uh, there's my hydroponic system. I'll uh, try and keep you posted on it. Uh, strawberries have uh, been tasting pretty good. Surprisingly, they go pretty quickly. Uh, they get ripe in a couple days. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Bye.